What's up guys, Marcus Carson here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make very simple cover art using Clip Studio Paint and Photoshop. I think I only used about like 4 elements and it came out fire so I mean hey, stick to the video because I'm going to walk you through on how I made this cover right here. I know fire is probably one of my favorite designs right now. So yeah, let's hop right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is get some pictures like stock photos and materials that you want to use for this cover, right? So like I said, I'm going to use like an astronaut helmet and random objects. So I'm going to just go through Google's images and just see what I like, right? I got our images in the, f the program. Alright, so the easiest way for me is just to get this magic wand right here and just click the backdrop and then this mask button right here boom and then boom like that's that easy that's like that's why i love photoshop man so easy right boom save it right onto the next one all right guys so in this case with this photo because since the helmet is kind of the same uh, luminosity with the background i'm gonna have to use the pen tool to cut it out so it's over here on the left side the pen tool you click it and you kind of basically you just make points i guess you could say to drag it out I'm going to show you, bro. I'm going to stop talking. Look. So you click at a certain point, right? And you click the other part. And you kind of just drag and just kind of angle where you want the line to be. So like right there is perfect. And yeah, you just keep doing that until you get to the other side of the uh, point that you made. And then you could mask it out and you're good to go. So I'm going to just do that right now and show you all. And there we go guys, we just masked out, or how do you say? We just cropped the image out of the picture that we wanted. So let's move, transfer these files right to Clip Studio Paint. All right guys, so now we're in Clip Studio Paint and now you're gonna uh, drop our images that you're gonna use for the cover. So I don't really have too many. I think I have, only have like, what, like five elements. So import image, uh, go to the, the file that you're using. I don't know why, but yeah. So we're using this. Uh, this, this rose, and this. All right, so now that you got all your images in the file or the project, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, basically, you're gonna start off with the main focus of the cover, which is the helmet, right? So in this case, I'm gonna try to make this helmet as centered as possible and just kind of scale it to see where I want it. So I think right about there. Oh, and if you wanna know how to use the grid that I just have right here, you go to view, and just click grid and then if you want to adjust the grid and whatnot you click grid slash ruler bar settings and you'll be good to go right all right so now that's in the middle and i think that's a pretty good spot where i want it yeah that's that's a good spot for me all right so now let's start actually cropping these photos or blending them in i guess you could say right so i kind of like the theme that the helmet has but i do want to edit just a little bit I'm gonna just play around and just see where I want each object to be. And then from there we could, you know, edit, add highlights, shadows, whatever you want, right? But yeah, first just get everything where you want it to. So I got everything in place where I want everything to be. I think everything looks pretty good. So now we can finally composite all these images together, right? So the first thing I want to do, right, is I want to kind of hide everything behind the helmet, like just this part right here. So I'm going to rasterize this layer, drop the opacity, and you kind of can see where the helmet uh, finishes. So in this case, I'm going to use the eraser tool. Uh, I think hard, yeah. 
Yeah. Hardy Racer will definitely work good right here. So I'm gonna erase everything. Oh shit, let me bring it up. All right, so I just finished compositing every photo where I want it to be and kind of just blending it behind the helmet. So now we could finally move into just adjusting the colors, the lighting, add shadows, and that's all that we need to do to perfect this cover, right? So yeah, let's do that right now. Bro, this is coming, bro. Look, this is already coming on fire, bro. Like, I'm actually excited. And then the helmet for sure. So I think the light is more, the light should be shining, you feel me, to the left more. So we're gonna have shadows on the left side. I don't know if that makes, made sense, but you probably didn't. But you'll see what I'm saying. So I'm gonna add some shadows behind the helmet, for example. So like right here. Here's a big problem when I feel like graphic designers do when they first start making cover art is that for some reason they make the sticker this big bro like it just why it's just it doesn't look good like you know it looks out of place so honestly you should make it at least like this small in my opinion I think that looks pretty good right there and right around there and boom guys that's literally that's hold on that doesn't even look right, right there like right there's perfect bro boom done you feel me let me actually just let me make a little little bit of changes here and there maybe I, I mean overall we're pretty much done with the cover all right guys so for my final thing that i'm gonna add to this cover is i'm gonna add this like paper texture thing i feel like it just gives the cover an overall like different feel so it's like this i know it looks bad right now but just wait so I'm gonna rasterize this, right? Edit, brightness, uh, I believe I do a lot of contrast. Yeah, a lot of contrast. Uh, like around there. And then you kind of just make it like a little gradient. I think 55 should be good. Maybe for just 50 in general. And boom, you feel me? It sounds like, it sounds like a little gradient thing. And I, I don't know, it just looks cool. For me, that looks cool. And there you go guys, that is how you make a very simple cover art for beginners, right, and everything. I hope this video was very helpful to you guys. If you want to see more, comment down below and like this video, support your boy, you feel me? Follow me on Instagram if you have it, at Marcos Krosky. And yeah guys, thank you for watching and we'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.